Okay, I'm going to show you how to uh, blur the background, uh, the image that you want to like focus on, like you could do on a professional SLR camera, and uh, you'll need this program, uh, Pixelmator, I'll put the link in the description for the website download, and also the, uh, the what's it called, a oh, yeah, video link. Either I'll have the key in the description or the video link for the key. Okay, uh, open an existing Im Im image. I'll just select. Uh, let's see, go down, down, down. Okay, picture I took a couple minutes ago of a Coke bottle with my phone. And let's go to rename this base. And just ignore this. You can even exit out. And you'll need to select the lasso tool. I already have it selected. And if it looks like that, you'll need to uh, pre just press L on the keyboard and switch it. Okay, so just outline it with this. Outline the uh, object you're going to focus on and blur the rest. Okay. Then after that, right click, or if you have a Mac mouse, just press. Uh, Oh, refine selection and then go to if you have Mac mouse edit then uh, refine selection and see here everything else is red like see size where you want uh, the focus to be mainly like do it a lot bigger a lot smaller more on the object and I'm just going to put it around right here and you can do feather which makes it a little bit better Look, however much you want it. I'm gonna put it in about right here on 39. And smooth does like nothing at all. I might see something a little bit right here, but I just leave it at zero. Okay. After this, I'm gonna click right here. The uh, forgot the name. Okay. And then go to edit and. Uh, select inverse. Okay, it should look about like that. I don't know if some people if that's going to be there. Okay, uh, then go to filter, blur, and then zoom. And you'll see this pop out. And you could select where the zoom goes. And we clicked invert so it uh, does the outside instead of the inside. So as you see here, zoom it in and blurs it however much you want and what's cool is you can select the place where it zooms you can put it in the middle or here I think what you put it on is going to be more focused on too like you'll see it a little bit better like here's the little sharpie pen you can see that a lot better so it'd be cool if like you wanted to put a face in the background but it stays with this For some reasons you might just want to put it on the middle You could either just click this manually or just select how much. Okay. And after that, you can do a whole bunch of uh, uh, effects with it, too. After that, just save as. You could just put it wherever. I'll just put it on desktop. Sorry, my dad's cooking. Okay, and it should be safe. And it's here. Oh. Um, we get it. Oh, you need to save copy as, and we'll just do JPEG. Probably put best save.
see here. Okay. Alright, thanks. Comment, rate, subscribe.